Oh, it's an elevator. Seems to be turned off. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Is that a heart? Hi, amalgamations. Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smell the potato chips you had and... Anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were the one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of you, these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell you the truth that I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death, but the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take these concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost without what physically physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times when I struggle. I'm sure there will be times when I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Number, entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from outside the world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live. So that's Flowey. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Bisquick, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Bisquick, see you soon. Uh... The door is jammed shut with vines. Wait, is this just the other side of the room? Well, there's no chaos going off in the background. Sands are here. You are right. Or not. I guess Sans didn't feel like he needed to come this time. Throne room. Let's check on those human souls first. The coffin, there's name graved into it. Biz quick, it's empty. Okay, that's fine.
the throne. There's no save points here anymore. I guess we're locked in on this. Oh, we're not. Now we're locked in the end. Let's go, guys. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. Anything you want to do is important enough. Even something as small as reading a book or taking a walk. Please take your time. Oh, back so soon? How are you feeling? I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. Here we are again. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. No, not this time. Toriel, is that you? Toriel, what a miserable ke creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. That's familiar. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you take your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventures must seem so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves the mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you would have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Takes, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature, but do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Asgore, human? Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah! Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey! Nobody hurt each other. Uh, oh, are, another, are you another friend? I'm Toriel. Uh, hi. There's two of them? I just realized, uh... Give me just a second, guys. Hi! Nobody fight anybody! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help! Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty! Psst, hey, human! Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? Hey guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other? Oh, hey, I recognize your voice too. I'm Torio. So nice to meet you. Name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It's so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus.
papyrus. What does a skeleton towel his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton of tiles his roof with? Shingles. I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life! No spaces, though. Come on, Ascor. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Ascor. Undyne's totally right about the fish thing. Sometimes you just gotta, uh, stop pulling up the furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. Uh, it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy! Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it! Eh? Huh? Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then? I don't want anything back! Uh, wait, not in front of the human! Uh, right, sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> This band of married men. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while, looking at all the great friends you've made. I think, I think you may be happy here. Hey, that reminds me, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyways, if I got here before you, how did you know to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A Tiny flower? Yeah, that's why I saw it. You idiots. <laughs> well, you guys are having a little powwow. I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all your friends' souls are going to be mine, too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you, and all the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will be satisfied. But that won't happen. You... I'll keep you here no matter what. Oh, what the f- Even if it means killing you one million times. <laughs> what, do you not have it in you or something? <laughs> what? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. <laughs> that's... that's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do! Believe in you! Hey, human, if you get past me, you can do anything. So don't worry, we're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but somehow I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. We're with you too. Come on, you got this. La la la. You've got to win. You can do it. Worth it. Eh? No. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You. You. I thought so. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine!
No. Hi, Azriel. Don't cry. Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Flowey, you were Azriel. Howdy. Bizquick, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel. Dreamer. It's the end. <laughs> well, to be fair, this world is made up of hopes. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. This seems familiar. It's the end. Oh my god, this is amazing. And this world is made up of dreams. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory getting smaller and smaller. Azure charges Shocker Breaker. Let's hope you kept holding on. Damage reduced. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Azrael calls on Chaos Saber. Let's eat some chips. You eat the potato chips, you recovered 17 HP. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Ezra charges Shocker Breaker. Um... Let's eat more chips. You eat the potato chi cri chisps. Your potato... Your, <laughs> your potato is maxed out, yep. All your progress, everyone's memories, I'll bring them all back to zero. That attack won't work on me again. Ready, star blazing. Your items still up with dreams? What? Then we can do everything all over again. Ready's Chaos Buster. Chips. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. I mean, to be fair, I would do this all again. If it meant a chance to stop this. To save everyone. I would definitely do it again. kept holding on. Damage reduced. And then you'll lose to me again. Freddy's Chaos Buster. Your items fill up the dreams. And again... Determination, the dream became true. Your HP was maxed out. And again. Ready's Galacta Blazing. Do I have to kill him? Let's try attacking. Because you want a happy ending. Dang right I want a happy ending.
Chaos Slicer. The dream came true, your HP was maxed out. Because you love your friends. Ready to chaos. Yep. Yeah. Last dream again. The dream came true. Because you never give up. And I broke. Because I felt missing those. But I put myself back together. But it refused. It's the end. And I am determined. Azro Dreamer, infinite attack and infinite defense, the absolute god of hyper death. Calls on Chaos Slicer. And I broke again. But it wouldn't break. Spider Cider. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory getting smaller and smaller. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that lets you get this far. It's gonna be your downfall. Ready, it's Hyper Goner. Let's, t let's use this last dream. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Really? You really think you'll be able to do it? Azriel, it's you and me. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think you have what's it, what power you think you do. Because I'm too determined. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way. Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. Stretching your sprite? Wow, that's so cool. I don't care. Azriel blocks the way. Can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power. This world, the whole world is ending. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will, will end here in a world where no one remembers you. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude would serve you well in your next life. <laughs> Still, come on. Show me what good your determination is now. It's good enough to survive forever. 
Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You try to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You try again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game is really, really is impossible. But maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. <laughs> All right. Even if I can't save my game, I've told you before, Flowey, or should I say Azriel, I will save my friends. Let's go from the beginning. Hey, Toriel! You reached out to Azriel's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appeared. I think this is a good time for this. You ate the butterscotch pie, your HP was maxed out. The smell reminds the lost souls of something. This is for your own good, forgive me for this. Stand there. You hug the lost souls and tell her that you're going to see her again. Suddenly her memories are flooding back. Seeing her remembers you. Remember you. This male lost soul tried hard to remember you too. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. You feel something faintly resonating within Azriel. All right, then we've already done the beginning and the end. So I think there's a certain little skeleton who owns us a favor, isn't there? Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appeared. And maybe blue da bidi to die. But trust me. <laughs> uh What should I joke with? Or... I'm gonna be honest, we bonded over these puzzles. You asked the lost soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't seem to know why, but he really wants to help you. You must catch a human! Just give it up. I did. The lost souls stand there. You ask the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. Then everyone will! Why even try? The lost soul stands there. You ask the lost soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't seem to know why, but he really wants to help you. Well, it's you'll never see him ever again. The lost souls stand there. You told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. Suddenly, its memories are flooding back. Seeing how nicely you treated its brother, the other lost soul remembers, too. No, wait! You're my friend! That could never capture you! Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. You feel something resonating with an Azrael. So, I'm pretty sure there's two more good friends of mine. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you hit it is familiar to her. All humans will die! Smile. You gave the lost soul a big smile like you remember she likes you to do. For some reason, she sort of wants to smile back. You are a real enemy! You ask the lost soul to teach you how to cook. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. You feel something strongly resonating with an Azrael. Just one more. Alphys, the one we made friends with the last. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. Sweet old Alphys. <laughs> you ask the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? <laughs>
You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said it that is familiar to her. I've got to keep lying. The lost soul stands there. You call the lost soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you, too. You feel your friend's soul resonating within Azrael. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? We finally see the beginning of the game. You feel your friend's souls resonating within Asriel. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no! I don't need anyone! Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! God, this reminds me a lot of the, ad the Toriel fight at the beginning. How weakly you've attempted to attack me. His quick, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? Yes, I do. Azriel. This is exactly like the Toriel fight at the beginning. I'm doing this because you're special, Bizquick. You're the only one that understands me. You're the one who's any fun to play with me with anymore. No, that's not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Bizquick. I care about you more than anybody else! I'm not ready for this to end! I'm not ready for you to leave! I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again! So oh, please! Stop doing this! And just let me win! Stop it! Stop it now! It was quick. I'm so alone this quick. I'm so afraid this quick. This quick, I... I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Bizquick? I know. You're not actually Bizquick, are you? Bizquick's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I only have my own compassion back. But I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. 
Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. For... Honestly? I forgive you. What? Freeze, come on. Here, you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. De with everyone's power. With everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. And as the story was told, it would take every monster soul to equal one human soul. The barrier was destroyed. Has... <sighs> the game did say that once. It would take every monster soul to equal one human soul. Frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't want to let go. Frisk, you're... You're gonna do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay?